Hello and welcome to the library class and happy World Book Day because today is World Book Day, an opportunity to celebrate books and reading. Now, World Book Day was first celebrated in 1995. It was set up by UNESCO, which is an organisation which tries to promote peace by sharing ideas and understanding. And what better way to share ideas and understanding than by sharing books? But why the 23rd of April? What is so special about that date? Well, by a peculiar historical coincidence, the 23rd of April in the year 1616, two of the greatest writers the world has ever known died about, well, just over 400 years ago. But those guys are still famous today, and you've probably heard of them. One is Miguel de Cervantes, the greatest writer ever in the Spanish language. Buenos dias. And the other is William Shakespeare, the greatest writer ever in the English language. What? We're going to spend a little bit of time in this class getting to know those guys just a little bit. And then at the end, we're going to share some of our favorite stories. Okay, here we go. William Shakespeare was born in Stratford-upon-Avon in England in 1564. He is the author of at least 39 plays the most famous and most frequently performed plays ever written. He wrote a wide range of dramas, comedies and tragedies. Some titles you might have heard of include Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet and A Midsummer Night's Dream. He also wrote 154 sonnets, a type of poem. Yeah, beat that, Cervantes. Well, it's not a competition, William, but it has to be said Cervantes, who was born in 1547 in Alcala de Henares, Spain, isn't as famous for writing as much. Ha! And although he also wrote plays, only two of them survive. But, go on, what he is most famous for is writing what many believe to have been the first ever modern novel, Don Quixote. Don Quixote is the name of the novel's hero, an elderly man who reads too many fairy tales and decides to become a knight and sets off together with his companion, a farmer, Sancho Panza, to have adventures. It's a big hit. It certainly is a big hit. The only book to be translated more than Don Quixote is the Bible. The works of Cervantes and Shakespeare have both been translated into well over 100 languages. To this day, Don Quixote is read and enjoyed around the world. Yeah, this is pretty funny. Gracias. While Shakespeare's plays continue to draw crowds around the globe. Yeah, <laughs> nice one. While both men have hugely important bodies of work and were alive at the same time, their lives were very different. Shakespeare spent most of his time either in Stratford-upon-Avon or 80 miles away in London, where he worked as an actor and, of course, a playwright. How dull. That's a bit unfair, but it has to be said that Cervantes' life was considerably more action-packed. As a young man, he attempted to avoid arrest for wounding someone in a duel by joining the army. He fought in a huge naval battle in the Ionian Sea, south of Italy, and got captured by pirates on the way home. He was sold as a slave, ransomed by his family, and was later thrown into prison, where he had the idea for, wait for it, Don Quixote. Sadly, Cervantes and Shakespeare never met. It's just possible that Shakespeare read an early English translation of Don Quixote, but we don't know if Cervantes had even heard of Shakespeare. The influence of both men on the language that we use and the books and even the television and films that we enjoy is huge. That such extraordinary writers were alive at the same time is remarkable, and I like to think that should they have met, they might have been friends. Sorry. Sorry about the cabbage. Well, I hope you guys get to know those authors a bit better as years go by because I think there are things in there you are really going to enjoy. Now we're going to talk very quickly about favourite books. I'm sure you have some favourite books. I certainly do. Uh, my favourite books tend to change week by week. And I'm going to give you a top five today of my favourite books that I loved as a kid that I still love to this day. I'll be honest, there are some books in this list that I read as an adult, even though they were technically kids' books. But books are books. And if it's great, it's great. Who cares who reads it? Here we go. Right, in at number five, we have this book, Amos and Boris, a beautiful story about a friendship between a mouse and a whale, written by William Stieg, 
who wrote the book that the Shrek movies were based on. It really is fantastic. There's an amazing rescue operation at the end where the mouse has to help his whale friend out. I was about to open the book, but I'm not going to give anything away. All right, in at number four, we have this, Danny the Champion of the World, written by Roald Dahl. You know Roald Dahl from Matilda and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is one of his lesser known books, but it is fantastic. Funny, inventive, heartwarming. It's about a boy and his father who take on a villainous local landowner. And you're gonna to have to read it to find out if they manage to beat him. Okay, in at number three, we have Dogger. Oh my goodness, every time I read this book, I cry. It's an amazing story about a little boy who loses his uh, soft toy, Dogger. It, I have to tell you, it does have happy endings, so don't panic, but it's beautiful. You will not regret reading this. In at number two, we have Harry Potter. This is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. This is the third Harry Potter. I think many of you have read this one, so you know how great this is. If you haven't read this one or any of the Harry Potters, get to it. You are in for such a treat. Okay, number one. We have this. Ooh, hang on. We have this. This is the front cover. Uh, this is the Iron Giant, or sometimes called the Iron Man, written by a poet, Ted Hughes. My third grade teacher read this to us at the end of every day, and we loved it. It's an amazing story about an Iron Giant that fights a space dragon. Uh, you know, the everyday tale. Uh, it's mysterious. It's thrilling. It's yeah. It's it's a magical thing. You are not going to regret picking this up. All right, well I imagine you guys have got your own top five or maybe one or two recommendations at the very least. If you do and you want to share them, I would love to hear about it and I imagine your classmates would too. Put them in the comments below. Let's swap some ideas of great books that we could enjoy together. It's World Book Day after all. All right, that's it for me. That's the end of library class. Please stay safe, keep discovering, keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Bye -bye. Oh! I almost forgot, if you do want to hear the story of Dogger, here am I reading it. Hope you enjoy it. Take care. I really am going now. Bye bye.